click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in this particular video, we will tend towards the DC analysis of BJT where we have to initially understand the concept of load line effect. In the load line concept, we will be having initially the circuit which consists of load in the form of resistance RC which is in connected to your DC voltage plus VCC. Your emitter terminal is directly connected to ground which is more suitable case if even though we apply one resistor at the emitter side and we apply the emitter to ground through one resistor that is also fine. So here we are taking more or less general case where we are taking only one resistor in the form of load. So we will take this load line concept with your output characteristics. Initially without applying any AC voltage first of all we will have to understand the fact that whether we are giving certain amount of DC reference voltage such that I am getting complete swing which is moving around that reference voltage, reference current as well. Because as an amplifier, I am more or less interested in increasing the strength of voltage as well as current. But increasing the strength of the signal, it is also possible to clip off all the positive or negative side or certain positive or certain negative side of the AC signal. But as an amplifier, I don't want to change the nature of the signal. That is the very important phenomena of Q point or Q parameter that is also called as operating point. Now to find out what exact operating point I should have for my complete circuitry, we will have to draw the load line by understanding the fact that which resistance as a load we have applied and by applying KCL, we will draw the load line which is the equation of the line mathematically. So we will find out the equation of the line by applying KVL to the output side of the BJT circuitry. We will do the Namakaran for this loop as loop number A. We are starting from plus VCC which is with respect to ground as well. So we are getting this complete loop which is started by VCC. So plus VCC right voltage drop across RC which is given by current IC and RC so minus IC into RC then this VCE minus VCE is equal to 0. This is simple equation and from which we will digging out the characteristics parameter which are related to the output characteristics. Y axis for the output characteristics is IC. X axis for the output characteristics is VCE. So we will write the form of equation of the line in the form of Y is equal to MX plus C. We will try to find out from this particular equation and Wow, that's a great. Here, if we consider the value of IC as Y, right, we will equate this with minus VCE. If we take this VCE as X and minus 1 upon RC as M, then I can say that it will be MX, right? And this is altogether constant plus VCC and RC, which are given parameters. That is nothing but C. Okay, so we will write this as equation number 1. We will write this as equation number 2 by comparing equation 1 and 2, we will be getting y is equal to ic, right? x is equal to vce, 
एम इज इक्वल टू माइनस वन अपॉन आर सी माइंड वेल दिस इज गिविंग यू द नेगेटिव स्लोप सो एज योर वैल्यू ऑफ वी सी इंक्रीजेस योर वैल्यू ऑफ आई सी डिक्रीजेस सो वी आर गेटिंग द स्लैंटिंग पोजिशन ऑफ द लाइन विच इज नॉट पासिंग थ्रू द ओरिजिन बट विच इज इन द फर्स्ट क्वार्रंट ऑफ योर ग्राफ m is equal to minus one upon R C and the constant which is nothing but c is equal to v c c divided by R C. Now we will try to find out the exact position of point on the x coordinate and y coordinate. How do we get it? We have the equation. I'll repeat this equation. I C is equal to minus v c e divided by R C plus VCC divided by RC. Let's say at point A, right, on x-axis. If you want to have a point on x-axis, then y coordinate should be zero, right? So what we will write. So what we will write? I C is equal to zero, right? In this particular equation, if you write I C is equal to zero, then obviously I will be getting V C is equal to V C C. Then I will be getting V C E is equal to V C C. Here we have got two values: I C is equal to zero and V C is equal to V C C on one particular point called as A. So I can get one point on x axis where V C E value x coordinate is V C C and y coordinate is zero. We'll name this as equation number three. Let's say point one, right? At point B. Same way on x-axis, I can also draw on y-axis. Let's say put so y coordinate will be b coordinate, right? Now we can easily plot these two points on my output characteristics. We have the output characteristics as. This is the output characteristics for particular value of I B. Let's say I B one. I am interested in only one value of I B one at one particular point of operation. This is V C E, right? Now we will plot these two points on this particular graph. Right. Point A is V C C comma zero, where I will be getting one point where this is nothing but your V C C. We'll say point number B, right? Where I C is zero and your V C E is V C C, right? Now A point you can easily mount here. Point A. Now as these point A and B fulfilling your equation of line, which is nothing but I C is equal to minus V C E divided by R C plus V C C divided by R C. We can easily join these two points by the line. Now see, these are my the characteristics of B J T, right? For particular value of I B one, I am getting the change in I C with respect to V C E, which is shown by output characteristics. But for particular load, I am getting this load characteristics, and that line is also called as load line. This line is also called as load line. One point is satisfying. One point is satisfying both the characteristics. One is load line as well as one is output characteristics, and that particular point is called as Q point. This is also called as quincent point. This is also called as operating point. Okay, and that operating point placement is very very important when you are designing your amplifier. This particular operating point should be in the active region for proper amplification without any clipping in the current as well as voltage side. Question arises why? 
why only in active region why not in saturation region think in that way if this is the reference point right let us say that this is the reference point and the corresponding value of the current and voltages are let's say vce for q point and that's why it's named as vce q similarly this will be your ic q right now on that particular reference i am improving your strength of voltage signal and strength of current signal mind well if we are improving on the active region right we are getting so much space both sides of q point so right hand side as well as left hand side i'm getting so much space enough space equal space i can say so ideally if we are starting this signal taking the reference point then i'll be getting this kind of swing right maybe it will reach towards this b region b point maybe it's moving towards the zero origin right maybe it is touching towards origin right so i'm getting large swing that means i can amplify my signal as more as possible so this is the swing i'm getting similarly at the current side as well right here my current swing is shown now question arises if we shift this q point if we have the value of rc and value of vcc such that this line is representing the nature like this nature like this and nature like this and so on that means the q point is shifting towards the cutoff region let's say the q point is shifting towards the saturation or cutoff region what will happen case number one where your q point is over here right if q point is over here that means your value of a reference point is over here right now even if my swing is very very high it is clipped off at this particular side beyond origin i cannot have the amplification right and here i am getting the swing which is expected okay but it is not expected that ki i will be getting only positive side ka swing negative side ka swing is clipped off similarly at the current side as well when we are moving towards the saturation region suppose we are taking the ib1 ka value is very very high such that my characteristics are in this particular region keeping the value of vcc and rc constant right same as that of earlier so that load line is same even if i am taking this particular point that is not healthy for my operation as an, as an amplifier because see if we are taking this as a reference point again i am getting the clipping at the negative region as well if you are taking this as a current then i am getting the clipping in the positive region it is not reaching towards the origin side there is large gap between origin and your maximum negative of the swing at this particular point so here i'll be getting the clipping in your positive part of current so that's why it is very very healthy and very very fruitful to get the q point in the middle of the load line so our conclusion is operating point that is q point should be so what will be the ideal situation for your current and voltage quiescent point i can say that 
the value of VCEQ should be half of the maximum value. Maximum value is VCC. So your ideal value for VCEQ is VCC divided by 2. Similarly, ideal value for ICQ is nothing but IC max divided by 2. So maximum value of the current is nothing but VCC divided by RC right and divide by 2 in this particular case I am talking about so that's why I have written both the values IC max divide by 2 if I improve the value of the current by inserting the resistance RE as well so my value will become different it will not be same as that of VCC divided by 2 RC so this are nothing but the ideal shoe point as far as load line is concerned we have covered entire topic as load line concept when we will move forward for the dc analysis and ac analysis we will take this concept and we will move further for mathematical and conceptual operation for dc and ac analysis for the amplification operation as bjt as an amplifier thank you so much for watching this particular video i hope you have enjoyed if you have enjoyed don't forget to subscribe ekida channel learn more and more edc along with me along with ekida videos thank you so much